Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So for today's lesson, we will be doing the last part of normal distribution, which is the normal approximation to binomial distribution. So let's consider the following problem. So we have a sack of mixed grass seeds. The probability of the seed is 0 0.35. And then we have a random sample of 400. And then the question, they want you to find, find the probability uh, that fewer than 120 are rye grass seeds. So this is the summary. Okay. So since we have probability of success, and then we have a uh, number of samples or events, so this will make it a binomial distribution problem. Okay, so we're going to solve Px less than 120 as a binomial distribution problem. So we can proceed in solving the question, but you will realize that to find Px less than 120, we're going to have to do a very huge number of calculations as shown in this line. So you're going to have to calculate Px equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so and so and so up to 119. Uh, exactly the same uh, if you want to find it the other way around, which is 1 minus 120 plus 121 up to 400. So this is impossible to do the calculations in exam, although theoretically speaking it's correct, but in exam we're gonna, not going to be able to do it. So how do we solve this problem? So the way we solve this problem is by using the normal approximation. Okay, so which, which is what we will be doing today. So again, try to understand the problem. The problem is we start with binomial distribution problem, but the calculation is just too big to calculate. Whether you, you try to calculate it uh, from zero or from the back, from one minus the whole thing. Okay? So for us to be able to use the normal approximation to binomial distribution, there is one important condition for you to, to follow. Okay, so we have binomial distribution here. If you want to change to normal distribution, you have to follow this one very important condition, which is your NP. If you multiply it, must be greater than 5. And your NPQ, Q is uh, the probability of failure, must be greater than 5. If, if both are con both are satisfied, then you can use normal approximation. You understand? After you satisfy the condition for normal approximation, then you can change binomial distribution to normal distribution. How? So to find the mu for normal distribution is just simply n times by p. To find the variance of the normal distribution, we find it by using n times by p times by q. So I've written here for you guys. So we have binomial, which is 400 as your n, and 0 0.35 as your p. If you want to change it to normal distribution, you just simply multiply n times by p, which is 140, and n times by p times by q. p times by q. That's it. So now we're just going to solve the problem, which is Px less than 120. Now, this is a very important step here. Before we solve Px less than 120, uh, we have to address one small but very important problem. Okay, so Px less than 120 is from a binomial distribution. So if you can recall from your notes previously, Binomial distribution is a discrete problem. That's why it is under the RV, discrete random variable. So Px less than 20, as previously mentioned, is from 0, 1, 2, up till 19. It's a discrete number. But normal distribution is a continuous number. So we have to deal with this. We have to change this discrete number and modify it to a continuous number. Right? So, what we call that is continuity correction. We have to apply continuity correction. Basically, what you need to do is just uh, apply lower or upper boundaries. Okay? So, for example, if you look at discrete number here, 
px less than 120 means 19 going down to 0 okay so since 19 is the biggest number so you have to apply its upper boundary which is 119.5 so therefore px less than 120 after continuity correction will be px less than 119.5 just to get the diagram here okay all right so now we have done the condition and the method on how to change binomial to normal distribution and we know how to use continuity correction then you can just solve the problem okay so the summary step to success is number one check the condition np and pq must be greater than five check step two you convert binomial to normal distribution using np and npq as mu and variance respectively check and then step number three which is very important you have to change uh, discrete to continuous using continuity correction okay so check the diagram previously you, you you i want my student to always use diagram simple diagram just to help you out okay most students make a lot of mistakes over here if you make mistake here then you're gonna have uh you're gonna make mistake on your calculation again uh, as a reminder step three is where students make a lot of mistakes so use diagram to help you out so after you do the continuity correction which is px is less than 119.5 then this is just the first part of normal distribution you're just gonna have to use the z table to solve this right you have to standardize it because you have to change x to z apply this one now remember your standard deviation is root 91 not 91 okay 91 is your variance apply everything else then done that's it okay so in summary first check np and npq greater than 5 change binomial to normal apply continuity correction and then solve it find the probability so as i said previously lots of students make mistake on continuity correction so we're going to spend few a uh, few examples uh, on on dealing with continuity correction uh, always remember that we only apply continuity corrections for normal approximation we don't apply continuity correction in other than that you understand strictly for normal approximations only okay so, so let's look at example 3.61 so if you have px greater than or equals to 6 for discrete data which is binomial this means 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus till whatever the random sample is okay so the diagram shows that 6 discrete 7 discrete 8 discrete and up to whatever the events are okay so if you want to change the continuity correction you're going to have to apply since 6 is the lowest number here so you have to bring its lower lower boundary which is 5.5 so after applying continuity, continuity corrections px greater than or equal to 6 which is 6 7 8 continuity correction will become px greater than 5.5 so, this, so the second example you have px equals to 3 so if you look at the discrete number p is x, x equals to 3 is just this one so you have to apply continuity correction so you have to apply the lower boundary also and the upper boundary also all right so after cc continuity correction px equals to 3 is px greater than 2.5 but less than 3.5 refer to this diagram the third example we have px greater than or equals to 2 so 2 is included here but less than 8 so 8 is not included so you're going to have 2 3 4 5 6 7 only so this is the discrete number so if you apply continuity correction let's look at 2 since this is the lowest number you have to apply its lower boundary which is 1.5 and then you go to the max, the highest number which is 7 and apply its upper boundary which is 7.5 so this one x greater than or equals to 2 less than 8 after you apply the continuity correction you will have x greater than 1.5 but less than 7.5 so please spend some time 
on practicing on your continuity correction. Again, as a reminder, a lot of students make mistakes on continuity correction. And strictly, continuity correction is only for normal approximation, not other than that, not for the first part, not for the second part. So I want you to try to use diagrams for, for help, just to help you a little bit. So for example, for example, x is less than 1, 1, 2 here. We can just simply draw a diagram just to show the where the number is. So this is 12, so this is 13, so this is 11. x less than 12 means 12 is not included, just 11 and lower than that up to 0. Okay. So if you want to apply continuity correction, you're going to have to apply the upper boundary of 11, which is 11.5. That's it. So after continuity correction, you're going to have px less than 11.5. All right. So let's try fpx greater than or equals to 21. So just draw a few bar diagram so 21 and draw its neighboring numbers 21 20 and 22 so greater than or equal to 21 means 21 is included okay it's up till whatever the events are so if you look at this the 21 is the least number so you're gonna have to apply its lower boundary so which means p x is greater than 20.5 okay so try all these examples i will give you the solution on monday for you to check all right so these are a few examples that you can try so i will give the solution on monday okay if you have any question just text me up uh, these are the some guidance for you to do example 3.8c so just read it up okay so with that we finish normal distribution, which is the last chapter of statistics. All right.